Before we start, there are two things that I need to strongly point out. First, to activate the pen on her S3, she needs at least one ally to have a debuff on them. And to achieve the 100% pen, she needs three of her allies other than herself to have a debuff on them. At Max UE, her S3 can also cleanse one debuff from herself and give her an SCC buff at the start of her own turn, if there is an ally that has a debuff. Second, while the AP push effect on her S2 is a passive, the bonus turn is an active skill, and both need at least an ally to have a debuff on them. Which means if there is no debuff on your ally, including herself, then she won't be getting the bonus turn. But anyway, in this case I'll be using an endgame gear, which is only a few speed away from her max speed. In here I'll also use Phantom to further help her with the speed. If the environment is right, she is surely good, but what is the catch? If you are thinking of bringing her against Kagari, I'd say to rethink that choice again, because not just Kagari can push her back, her low base speed doesn't help with that either. The existence of an AP push reduction just further amplifies it. I think by this point it should be obvious that she is too conditional. You can't bring her to any fights you want due to her debuff reliance skills. Yes, she is good against F. Claris, but if you couldn't get her turn ASAP to eliminate F. Claris and then she got freeze lock, then you are pretty much done. The same thing if you bring her against Isabel and Anuker. And if there is no debuff on your ally, means she can't use her S2 because, well, she won't be getting the bonus turn. If the environment is within her favor, then she is extremely good, but if it isn't, then 